Hey there guys, welcome to my next video on this channel Swiss RC World. Um, today I'm gonna show something uh, for the beginners on my channel and it's how to be successful in RC uh, with training on simulators. Uh, simulators are awesome because uh, they are with the technique of today they are quite realistic nice graphics, a lot of models and so on and you won't uh, lose any money if you crash an airplane so today I'm just gonna show you a simulator called uh, Phoenix RC it's the version 4.0 I think now and uh, first I'm gonna show you how you can hook up your uh, radio to your PC so as you can see here I got my Spectrum DX6i and I'm just gonna turn it on quickly and choose my model for the Phoenix simulator. I suggest you to do that too if you have a computer a computerized radio, uh, just because um, the trims are safe and you need to have uh, you you need to have clear mixes so it, otherwise it won't work properly. So uh, here I got a USB to 3.5 millimeter uh, four pin no three pin plug and 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 the button you see is a 12 and one simulator you can fly with the Phoenix RC Airfly uh, G4 G5 and XTR which is an an RC car simulator if I'm not mistaken and you can choose that by just flicking this switch right here. Today we're going to use uh, Phoenix RC and as I told you before I'm using my Spectrum DX6i and we're just going to plug in a 3.5mm plug in here you have another 3.5mm plug then you're going to look for uh, what your train port is uh, Spectrum has uh, such a 3.5mm 3-pin uh, plug I think Futaba has such a 6-pin one and all the different kinds. Uh, if you would use Futaba, you could just uh, plug that in here and into your radio. But with Spectrum, you don't need any adapter. So I'm just gonna plug that in here, and the radio should actually turn on. So let's head onto the computer, and I'm gonna show you how you can set up your radio correctly. So hey there people, now we're uh, in the Phoenix system, if you start up you should see something like that and if you have plugged in your uh, controller uh, with this USB adapter uh, we're gonna go to uh, set up a new transmitter then click next, 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 next center all uh, your sticks, also the throttle stick, next move them around uh, to the extremes just uh, you need to move it as far move them as far as you can out in every corner that should do next uh, get your uh, your switches on your transmitter and that should be okay then we're gonna click on advanced next uh, my transmitter is not listed next center all the controls next only throttle move only the throttle stick then we're gonna put it back uh, to 50 percent okay then the rudder stick only if that's possible next elevator and aileron Okay, and then your gear, channel 5, and recenter all the controls. Next, move elevator sticks to extends and recenter. Have I done it already? I don't know. okay and now click on finish uh, then we're gonna tell our PC that is a Spectrum DX6i 
and finish. Yes, I know. Uh, then we're gonna go to your controls. Pick the one we just made. Edit this one, and you're gonna see uh, that your uh, you should. Mm. <coughs> This is gonna be in, not inverted. So on helicopters, your collective pitch needs to be channel uh, controller channel one, and the rest should be the same. I think. Then what I do because only one channel works on mine, uh, I use um, where is it? Gear. I use on channel uh, five. And the flaps, where are the flaps? Flaps right here, channel 5. But uh, you always want uh, to invert one of these because when the flaps are down, you're gonna have uh, your your um, wheels down, your retracts down, and when retracts are up, your flaps will also be up so you can fly like, uh, you can fly well better. So we're gonna click on finish. This is our profile we just made, and oh, wait, why is he still oh, okay? Uh, then for your first flight, um, we're gonna choose another model, and uh, this is on this is just little fixed wing. So airplanes, airplane um, video. So I'm gonna choose. Uh, a really easy plane to fly. Uh, trainers are mostly the best. As you can see, they have, for example, the Hobby Zone Firebird Stratus, which is one of the best uh, trainers they tell you. But I think it isn't just because it has no ailerons. Uh, don't know if you can see that, no ailerons. And with the rudder, you can't really uh, fly your uh, your airplane. So you can either choose your E Flight Apprentice 15E or uh, the Hype RC you can fly or whatever you want. Also the Mini Mac for just a small little plane. And I'm just gonna take this one. And then I, I actually don't want to throw it. So launch uh, is automatic. So it's gonna see that I'm. I want to start on the plane. Uh, on on the track, so then we're gonna go to uh, view camera, auto zoom, keep ground in view. And uh, this is very important because when you fly high, you won't see the ground, and then if you try to go down again, uh, you you're gonna crash. And in the bottom left, you can see my controller right here, moving the aileron, rudder, and elevator. This is elevator up, elevator down. Left aileron, right aileron, rudder left, rudder right, um, and throttle up. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna throttle up just to get some speed, and the plane should automatically uh, get off the ground. Just gonna check all the controls, yes, everything's right. Then, after you've started uh, successfully, you're gonna uh, move your throttle to about 50%, and you're just gonna you're just trying to cruise around only uh, using elevator and aileron as you can see uh, from uh, me uh, with the mini mag it's very easy to fly because it flies slow and uh, it's really hasn't it hasn't got any bad tendencies to stall or so, um, if you don't know what's, what the stall is this is a stall if you can't uh, fly up and, and you're too slow and the plane will fall down so on most trainers the plane uh, should not um, go oh, that, one, that was a little bit too much the plane should not uh, flip to one side and uh, so it's it's very easy to control for you so it's just you're not gonna fly any pattern you just try to uh, cruise around a little bit, very easy and very slow. And you can also try some landings. 
do not chop the, tr uh, the throttle fully because then uh, you're gonna be too slow and you just try to set up uh, the wheels you can start again very funny thing uh, would be touch and goes try to show you one right here in a second uh, keep about 30% uh, of throttle touch down and go and uh, a little bit more throttle needed and try to get up back up um, a little tip uh, don't steer like this and full uh, all the time uh, full power and just from one side to one side and also do not do not um, uh, f make your plane fly like this and then pull around and this and so on just make a minimal uh, aileron use so you won't uh, crash because your plane will fall down like this so once again a little star it's uh, the man the mini mag is really uh, easy to fly and there are other awesome models and just I don't even use the uh, your rudder one time I think and that's just Phoenix RC uh, version 4 P don't know what the P is for but uh, you have a lot of updates I've seen that the Firebird Stratus just came out today or something and I just downloaded it and yeah that's pretty much it so uh, if you have any questions to the uh, with the simulator um, just put them in the com comment section down below and I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Bye.